Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sopal and welcome to Photoshop Magic. Okay, so as you can see on the screen right here, today we are going to be talking about a 3D pop-out effect in Photoshop, part one of uh, Marvel Falcon. And as you can see in the before and after, we have three different images. We have one of a picture of a phone on the desk. It's slanted in a way where when we added the two photos in here, we were able to make it like a 3D effect of Falcon, you know, popping out of the phone. So yeah, so we're going to be talking about that today, and uh, we are just going to get started, okay? So yeah, so if you haven't been to my channel yet, welcome. And uh, this channel focuses on the magical and creative power of Photoshop. It's designed for anybody who has no power knowledge at all for basic and intermediate level. Okay, so everything I have here, uh, the licenses and attributions are all in the description below. So if you want to see it, you can, okay? All right, so yeah, so let's get started. So we are going to open up Photoshop. Very first thing you want to do is you want to open up the two images that we have here. In this case is Falcon in the grass. So in order to select the grass also, you have to hold the control button down, CTRL in the bottom left of the keyboard. And we're going to click on the grass, okay? We're going to click open. And they're both going to open up, okay? So we are going to start with Falcon. I'm going to click right here. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to uh, make a copy of the, the background copy here, okay? So we're going to left click, hold and drag it down to this plus sign with a square around it to make a copy. And we have to make sure that the copy layer, background copy layer, is still selected. And from there, we want to click on the lasso tool, uh, quick selection tool right here. And right click on it, and you want to click on quick selection tool, okay? So what we want is we want to left click, hold, and drag to select the areas we want to delete, okay? That we want to get rid of. So to do that, I want to get rid of the background, okay? So we're going to left click, hold, and drag this areas. As you can see, I'm staying as far as possible from Falcon himself because the computer is smart enough to, to know what to keep and what not to keep. So I'm going to come in here and also in here. And now I'm also going to release the left hold real quick and going to let us do its thing. Sometimes it does take a little while. And I'm going to the empty space in here too. Left click, hold, and drag. And as you can see, the machine took part of his shoes right here, which we want to keep. So what I'm going to do to fix it we're going to hold the Alt button on the keyboard, say ALT, and then hold it down. And we're going to left click, hold, and drag this area right here. And it ended up taking too much. So, what we're going to do, we're going to release the Alt button down. And I'm going to left click, hold, and drag the shape of a shoe. Just like so. Okay? Cool. I like it the way it is. So, what we are going to do, we are going to click delete on the keyboard. So, as you can see uh, in this small image right here, the background got deleted. To really see it though, you have to click on this eye right here to turn it off. And there you have it, okay? Falcon is is there. Okay, so now we have to move Falcon over the grass. We are going to uh, click on the Move tool. So to make this 3D effect, uh, what we want is we want Falcon to be in the middle of a plain background, like a, like a grass or, or like a road or anything that's flat that he can either kneel or stand on. Uh, and he has to be in the center in order for this to work because when we put him in the phone, it's going to be a lot more effective okay so what we are going to do if you've never seen this before it might look a little bit strange but uh, effectively what we want is we want to left click hold and drag falcon now that the select tool is selected and we are going to drag him out of frame to the second image right here grass and once it has gone to grass it's going to automatically switches to the grass image and if you come down here it's going to have that plus sign we're going to release the left hold Okay, just like so. And he's a little bit too big. And like I said, we want him to be in the center, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to hold the control button. Now we're going to tap T to uh, resize it. And then we're going to come up here until we see the double arrows. We are going to left click, hold, and drag to drag him down. For the latest version of Photoshop, if you just uh, left click, hold, and drag, it, it keeps it proportional. I know that with the older version of Photoshop, it's the opposite, where you have to hold the shift button and resize it, okay? So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, so like I said, we want him to be in the center as much as possible. I'm going to make him a little bit small, just like so. But when, so when we add him, you know, he actually fits in there. And I just want him to be as high as possible because I know to make it fit on the phone. So just like so. All right. Just like so. Okay. So once I'm happy, I'm going to tap on the check mark button. Okay. So now that he's in the center of, you know, a field, he's just kneeling down on top of it. Um, we want to save this as JPEG, and then then we bring him to the the phone itself to make uh, that 3D effect. Okay, 
So we're going to go to file. We are going to go to save as right here. We're just going to give our name. So we're going to put Falcon on a grass final. Okay. So just like so. And that will save us a PDF format. Uh, I just want to save it. So in case, you know, if something were to go wrong, we can actually make modification to it instead of starting over. Because if you just go directly to a JPEG, we're going to do it again. If you go directly to a JPEG, you can't really save it as much. You, can, you can't make modification to it, okay? So this time around, we're going to keep the same title. We are going to change the format. Save us type to a JPEG so we can actually use it with the other one. Okay, so Falcom on the grass final. And we're going to click save, just like so. We're going to uh, click on OK. 7 megabytes in total. Okay, so just like so, okay? All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in the phone itself, okay? So we want to go to file, we want to go to open. And the phone, that's somewhere in here. So right there, okay? Phone on the table. So we're going to click open. Once it's highlighted. As you can see right there, it's just a phone that's kind of small and far out. So what I want is we are going to make it a little bit bigger. So when we bring in Falcon, it actually fits a lot better, okay? So we're going to crop this out a little bit. We're going to go to the crop tool. And we are going to, uh, once we see hover above this, when we see the double arrows, we're going to left click, hold, and drag. Drag it out a little bit and drag this up. And we're going to click on this check mark to save it. Perfect, just like so. So now we have to bring in uh, the Falcon JPEG. Okay, we're going to go to file. We're going to, go to open again. But this time we are going to find the Falcon on the grass final. Okay, it's just like that. That's the one that we just did earlier. Okay, so it's been uh, seven minutes, so I have three minutes more <laughs> before we go to the uh, second half. Okay, we're going to click on open. Perfect. So it's now it's here. So the reason why it's like this right now is because we have, you know, the crop tool still open. You have to click on the move tool now, and you have to make sure that the uh, to click right here to unlock it then in order to move it. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to left click now. This is one layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag it over to the other one again. And again, um, it is phone on this one right here, okay? So to remember that. So we're going to left click, hold, and drag to this title right here, out of frame. And then we're going to come back down. We're going to release it, just like so. Okay? So now he's a little bit too big. So what we are going to do, we're going to resize it. going to hold the control button down, tap T. And we are going to left click, hold, and drag. Perfect. And you can't really kind of hard to tell uh, to where we want to keep them. So to make sure we are going to uh, where we want to keep them, we're going to make the opacity 50% or a little bit less than 50. So you can actually see the background. So we're going to make it around like 46 or so. I say like, yeah, like 40, 46. Uh, this looks good. Okay. Um, so now that you can actually see the grass also in the background, we're going to resize a little bit more and you want him to come out just like so. Yeah, it's just as much as possible, like in a phone. So um, when this is done, all we're going to be able to see is just going to be the grass and also Falcon in the background as if he was popping out. Okay, we can actually just... Yeah, look at that. It looks amazing. Okay, cool. Okay, so nine minutes has passed, so we have to make sure to save our work. Okay, so we're going to click on the check mark right here. I like it the way it is right now. Um, so now that we, we have a, you know, a solid idea of where he's going to be at when that 3D effect is complete, is that uh, you're going to see the grass in here and every all the other pictures can be taken out. And it's just him you know, in the background and it's going to look like he's popping out. So, okay. So, yeah, so let's save our work. You know, as I have always said in my other videos, it's always best to save our work because we never know if an emergency is happening, the program is freezing up, or the battery is dying. Anything can happen, okay? So we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Save As. We are going to, the very first file we want to save is going to be uh, Photoshop format, okay? So it's going to be Falcon on Phone uh, one, Part 1. Part 1, okay? So we want to save it as, uh, you know, Photoshop format first. We're going to click OK. We're going to let it save real quick. 
and we're going to go a file again we're going to click on save as we're going to save it as a jpeg also so we have both of them okay even though it's not our final work yet just like so okay all right so yeah so part two will be up here somewhere in the upper right hand corner with the eye uh eye with the circle around it okay as always have a great day see you in part two it's going to be in the description below